So I know what you're thinking, that I'm just gonna rehash the same Raspberry Pi projects that you've heard a million times. These are five actually useful and fresh ideas that you maybe hadn't heard of already. All right, number five. So if you're looking for a project that requires beginner level hardware experience and beginner level command line experience, this one's for you. So this one's called the Tweeting Weather Bot, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It tweets the weather. But trust me, it's cooler than it sounds. So basically all it does is it does a quick ping to the internet, it grabs the weather, it grabs a quick picture from the camera attached, and poses them together in one single pretty cool image, and it tweets that to your Twitter account or one you set up for it. Now, this may not seem like the coolest thing in the world, but you're setting it up from scratch, and quite frankly, you'll have something on Twitter that nobody else has, and it's not an NFT. Thank God. Thank God. So number four. This is a project that I haven't seen really posted on many forums or lists or articles anywhere, but I feel like it's a project people should start getting into. And you probably don't even need a Raspberry Pi 4. You could probably get by with just a small zero that doesn't need much computing power. But basically what this project is, is just making a single use computer, a single use personal computer that has a very simplified OS and a very simplified use case. So an example would be making a PC for an elderly person. That person doesn't need a lot of bells and whistles. It doesn't need a lot of the bloatware that comes with Windows. It doesn't need all the features that come with a Mac. So an example would be installing Linux and maybe stripping out a lot of the apps that come with it and just leaving their favorite video conferencing software, maybe their favorite chat software. And then also maybe having some automated things like the weather come up. You can really make a dashboard for somebody based off of their needs. I mean, this one really is a kind of choose your own adventure but let me know in the comments what ideas you have to make a kind of personalized experience for somebody. All right, so number three is one you've probably heard before, but I wanted to mention it. It's a music player. Now, before you leave, hear me out. The simple version of this would be you take the Raspberry Pi, you take a touch screen, you smash them together, and you put your favorite music streaming app on it. This one goes a little bit deeper. This one's for the audio files. Now, I'm just gonna call this Volume IO. I know that's probably not how you pronounce it, but that's how my brain wants to pronounce it, so I'm gonna pronounce it that way. The best way I can explain Volume IO is Plex, but strictly for music. So I know Plex has a music feature, but this is as if you took Plex and changed it from an all around media player to just a music player and dedicated all of its resources to playing music, storing music and accessing music. It really is an all in one inclusive experience that if you are really into music and are really into storing your music and having physical, I guess what we would call physical copies nowadays, which are just MP3s on a hard drive. I guess that's a, is that a physical copy? compared to stream, what, what is the difference between, what would you call a streamed song and a song played from a hard drive? Or I guess they would both come from a hard drive because if you're streaming it, you're just streaming it from someone else's hard drive. And if you have it on your own hard drive, what? Okay. But that's pretty much it for volume out. So number two is a project that I almost started but ran out of time and didn't get to start. And it's a baby monitor or surveillance camera. This isn't a project that I recommend to beginners. This is one I recommend to more advanced users because it does involve a decent amount of command line interface. And if you're not too comfortable in a command line, this project may kind of go sideways really quick. But it does pretty much exactly what you would think. It uses the camera, it records, you can set it up to record motion, you can access it from a web page. It doesn't have to connect to the internet, which is a big relief for a lot of people because they don't want their baby monitors connected to the internet. That is a big selling point for a lot of baby monitors is them not connecting to the internet at all. Um, and this is one of those. I think they do have a feature where you can forward a port on your router and access it remotely, but that's purely an added feature. But yeah, it's a pretty cool project. Um, you can set it up to record temperature. I mean, you can, you can set it up as an infrared camera and have it do infrared recording so it can do more in the dark. There's a lot of possibilities you can go with. And overall, I think it's just a pretty cool project to do, even if you're not using it as a baby monitor and just a surveillance camera. It will teach you a lot about the Raspberry Pi. I like to call this one a gateway project because once you complete this, if you haven't done anything this complex before, you'll pretty much be set to do a lot of other projects with the Raspberry Pi. All right, so before we get to number one, just let me know in the comments which of these projects you've either tried before or are interested in trying. Also, let me know if there's a project that I'm leaving out 
that not many people know about that you think they should. All right, so number one, everybody's probably tried a voice assistant. I'm not gonna name their names and set off any devices, but what if I told you you could get a little bit more customization, a little bit more open sourceness? Mycroft AI is actually an open source voice assistant that's not even out yet. It's coming out later this year, and I kinda wanna give it a try, actually. Now, I'm not being incentivized to promote this or anything. I just really stumbled across it when I was looking at different projects, and it kinda caught my eye a little bit because not many people know how to get into AI and to have a nice starting point like this where you can kind of craft your own, I think it'll get a lot of people into programming and maybe artificial intelligence and machine learning. I do want to get more into artificial intelligence and machine learning, and I think this might be my gateway into it. I'll look a little bit into alternatives that are out right now, but this is a pretty complete Raspberry Pi experience that you could buy as a complete unit, it looks like. 300 bucks and it comes with everything you need already that that might be worth it so it is an ubuntu based os which is pretty cool and it does all the basic things that your current ai does and it doesn't have to be connected to the internet which you can't say for your current ai i like this thing because it prioritizes my two favorite things open source and security and i think it's just a really cool way for people to get into either programming or machine learning but that's pretty much it peace